So you mentioned that we can start questioning all these axioms that we consider true. That's right. I'm a simple man, professor. I'm uh-huh. like I'm like Winston Smith from George Orwell's 1984, where I'm writing in my <laughs> diary that the freedom is freedom to say that two plus two is four. And if you grant me that, everything else follows. Are you telling me that you can now question all your axioms and proofs in such a way that you can construct a world where two plus two is not four? This is the foundation of my education. So two plus two is four. Again, it, it's... <laughs> I remember talking to Sean Carroll once and he was like, this is the great thing about philosophers. They can, you know, they can complicate a question like whether to was. <laughs> so, so look, I, I, I told you how that is understood according to orthodoxy in yeah. logic and mathematical logic. And in mathematical logic, just like one plus one is two, two plus two is four is a claim um, that involves names and picks things out. And so if you think there could fail to be any numbers, it certainly could fail to be the case that one one plus one is two or two plus two is four, because two plus two is four is only true if there are objects, the number two and the number four and two bears the plus relation to itself and to four. But you're making the realist case for mathematics. So there are those numbers. Oh, right. So so what's my I thought I thought you were asking me like, okay, so so maybe you're saying so maybe you're wondering, okay, so it's not the case that um, that these things on my view are false, but it is the case on my view that it's all like geometry. Mm -hmm. And what in the hell do you mean by a non Euclidean arithmetic or something? Sure. So the line in the book is actually that arithmetic is special. So in other words, on my view, it's actually not the case that there's, in any interesting sense, a universe in which two plus two is five. Here's why I say in any interesting sense. There's something called the completeness theorem. The completeness theorem um, on the standard formulation says that um, anything that really follows from anything else in first order logic there's a proof of it in a standard proof system. But another formulation of that is if you have any set of sentences that's syntactically consistent, meaning you can't derive a contradiction from it, there's a model of it. There's an interpretation of the sentences in which everything comes out true. So that means because two plus two is five is certainly first order consistent. Mm -hmm. There's a model of two plus two is five. So in a sense of universe, There is a universe in which two plus two is five, according to anyone. This is back to the question about there's a million technicalities about what plurals and means in the meta theory. So here's here's one of the technicalities. It can't just mean the completeness theorem. It can't just mean whenever you have a consistent set of axioms, you can find a model of that because everybody agrees with that. It has to mean that whenever you have a consistent set of axioms, there's an intended model. Where intended model, first of all, is not even a model because it's not a set. It's too big to be a set. There's no, there's no set that is the universe of set theory. One of the, one of the theorems of, of ZFC is that at, there can't be. Um, so, so when I say that, for example, there's a universe in which the axiom of choice fails, which is just a standard axiom of set theory, I don't mean just that you can find a model of it if you can find a model of ZF because that follows from a result of uh, Cohen and uh, uh, and good old, well, Cohen in the case of failure um, and and the completeness theorem. Um, I mean, there's an intended model. There's there's a there's a universe that is the one we envision when we envision the failure of choice. And there's a universe in which uh, choice holds. And these are equally legit, kind of like the different geometries. But why is arithmetic, in my view, special so that I think you're right. Two plus two is five. I'm a simple man about arithmetic, too. And two. Two plus two is five. But no, but the point is, I thought okay. you were saying that, like, you can't have two plus two is five. Sorry, yeah. I don't get it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the reason that I think arithmetic is special is because Goodall taught us that um, that meta theoretic claims claims about what you can and can't prove from theories are really arithmetic claims in disguise. So if you start fooling with arithmetic and say that any arithmetic theory that's consistent is as good as any other, you start fooling with claims about consistency and what follows from what. So for example, let me just illustrate. So, right. I mentioned Goodall's second incompleteness theorem says, says, for example, this is just one uh, theory that you can apply it to it. It's more general than this, but 
But if piano arithmetic is consistent, then it can't prove that it's consistent. Okay, it immediately follows from that that piano arithmetic plus the claim it's inconsistent is consistent if piano arithmetic is consistent. Because otherwise it could prove its own consistency if it were consistent and it can't by the theorem. Okay, so... So what if so what if I say any consistent theory, even arithmetic theories, are as good as any other? Well, then PA, piano arithmetic, plus the claim that it's inconsistent has to be. Yep. But I just said that piano arithmetic is consistent. That's why this conjunction is consistent. Because if piano arithmetic were inconsistent, then certainly the conjunction of piano arithmetic with the claim that it's inconsistent would be inconsistent. But one of the claims of this theory is that it's inconsistent. So there's a a, a kind of incoherence. It's not officially an inconsistency because there's a meta theory object theory distinction going on, but there's a kind of incoherence about on the one hand claiming that any consistent theory, arith including arithmetic theories are as good as any other. And on the other hand, um, saying that that include like as good as any other meaning like true of their intended subjects. And on the other hand, saying that piano arithmetic plus the claim it's inconsistent is consistent because it says it's inconsistent. Now, here's why that's, you know, you could argue about this. I, this is not my view, but you could argue about this. What officially is going on, a model uh, from our perspective of piano arithmetic plus the claim that it's inconsistent, a model of that is officially what's called a non-standard model of arithmetic, where you have the natural numbers as we think of them, but then you have this number that has no name. It's not the referent of any numeral. Uh, and it's the number witnessing via good old numbering a proof of zero equals one. So so the the claim that piano arithmetic is inconsistent is, is the claim there is a natural number and it codes a proof of zero equals one. So how could you have a model of that? Well, you have to have a model where there's a non-standard number, a number that's not finitely many steps away from zero that codes the proof of zero equals one. So here's what you could, could say. You could say, actually, you can be more wild, and you can say that um, even PA plus not con PA is, this, is, this, is the abbreviation for piano arithmetic plus the claim, claim it's inconsistent is true of its intended subject. You could say that that theory isn't asserting what we assert when we say that piano arithmetic is inconsistent, because you gotta look at the model in which it's true, and a model in which it's true is a model in which things like proof and consistency mean something different. Mm -hmm. So I won't go on to give you a full explanation of why I think that's not a good argument, but the short version is I don't think in general you can hold that the meaning of a theory is given by its class of models. And if you grant that, then there's something special about arithmetic, and I'm with you, I'm a simple-minded person about arithmetic, but nothing else.